Hi everyone and welcome to math for Thursday, April 9th. We are on day seven of your packet. Let's get started. Recall our anchor chart. How much is a quarter worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents. How many dimes equals $1? Ten dimes equals one dollar. How much is a penny worth? One cent. How many cents equals one dollar? One hundred cents equals one one dollar. How much is a nickel worth? A nickel is worth five cents. Good work, everybody. Come back to the screen or check your packet to help you solve the next problems. Let's start with a little bit of fluency, but in a different way today. This is more or less. We used to do this with just regular numbers, but now we're going to do it with coins. The first one says, the value of one dime more than a quarter is. Let's think, how much is one dime? One dime is 10 cents. How much is a quarter? A quarter is 25 cents. So one dime more than a quarter is 10 plus 25. What does that equal? That equals 35 cents. Good work. Let's try another one. The value of one quarter, remember a quarter is 25. More means we're adding than 35 cents is 25 plus 35. 60 cents. Remember, you could find that 25 and 35 um, both have five, so it would end in a zero for the ones place. You could regroup, you could model, you could count on. You have some strategies available to you. The value of one quarter, 25, more than 60 cents, so that's 25 plus 60. And the answer is 85 cents. If you're not sure how we got there, use your own strategies to try and solve. If you are still confused, please, please, please let me know because I am happy to slow it down. Or you can go back to yesterday's work and try to add there as well to practice. The value of a dime, that's 10, and a nickel, that's five, more, so we're adding, than 85. Well, I want to add five plus 85 first. Five more than 85 is 90 plus 10 is 100 and 100 cents equals what friends it equals one dollar still a challenge and if you are confused don't worry keep practicing on your papers and call me if you ever have any questions because i am here to help you out Speaking of questions that came up, let's take a look at a mistake that Miss White made yesterday. Yesterday, I said that one quarter and two dimes and one nickel is worth 40 cents. But Iari pointed out to me, thank you so much, Iari, that two dimes is not 10. One dime is 10. Two dimes is 
20. Boy, oh boy, do I miss teaching in front of you. You could have fixed that for me in real time. I am so sorry I made that mistake, but you know that teachers make mistakes too. So what is 25 plus 20 plus five? Well, let's take a look. 20 plus five is 25. 25, two times. We can do our skip counting to do that. 25, 50, 50 cents. So I am sorry for that mistake, Eari, and I am so thankful that you pointed it out. Second graders, if you ever notice mistakes just like you would in the classroom, let me know. Point them out to me. That's how our brains grow. I'll make sure to be careful today. But if I do make a mistake, please be forgiving of me and point it out. All right, let's move on to a challenging problem. Aubrey has three dimes and two nickels in one pocket and one quarter and seven pennies in another pocket. All right. Let's see how much money is in Aubrey's pockets. The first thing I want to remember is how much each of these coins is worth. A dime is worth 10. She has three dimes, so I would add 10 three times. 10 plus 10 plus 10. She has two nickels. A nickel is worth five. So five plus five because she has two. She has a quarter. How much is a quarter worth? A quarter is worth 25. She only has one quarter. So we don't have to add, it's just 25. And then she has seven pennies. A penny is worth one cent. So we would add one seven times. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Plus one. Writing on computers is tricky. All right, let's add these together. 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30. 10 three times equals 30. Five plus five equals 10. Twenty five is just still staying twenty five. Don't need to add anything to it. And then one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, plus one equals seven. All right, thirty plus ten is forty. Forty plus twenty-five we can do quickly because we don't need to regroup. Five plus zero is five. Four plus two is six. And then sixty-five plus seven, let's count on here. Let's just do a different strategy. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Recall that you do not need to do the same strategies that I use. You just need to use the one that works best for your brain. So here we are, 72 cents is in Aubrey's pockets. Good work.
on Monday, Jason gives two dimes and three nickels to his sister. On Tuesday, he gives his sister one quarter, one dime, and four pennies. If Jason started with 94 cents, how much money does he have now? If he's giving money away, we would not add. Instead, if you take something away, you subtract. So what is our whole? Our whole is 94 because that's what Jason starts with. All right, I'm gonna model 94 for you in a little bit of a different way. Just like we used to do with tens and ones, we're going to model 94. One, these are tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 91, 92, 93, 94. This will make it easier to subtract because I already have a model laid out. Let's start with what he gives away on Monday. On Monday, he gives away two dimes. A dime is worth 10 cents. So I would take away two tens. Awesome. But he gives away three nickels. Well, let's figure out how many nickels three nickels make, how much three nickels is. Five plus five plus five. How much is five plus five plus five? We could skip count. Five, 10, 15. So he actually gives away 15 more cents. Let's see if I can take five ones away. Oh no, I only have four ones. So what will I need to do? I'll need to regroup. So I take a 10, move it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now can I take away five ones? Yes, now I can take away five ones. One, two, three, four, five, but I also need to take away one ten. Great. After he gave away two dimes and three nickels on Monday, how much does he have left? He has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 cents. But he's not done giving money away to his sister. On Tuesday, he gives his sister one quarter. We know that a quarter is 25. Let's start with my ones. Can I take five away from nine? I can. One, two, three four, five. And then two tens, one, two. He takes away one dime. One dime is worth 10. So I take 10 away. And four pennies, four pennies is worth one cent. So I take four away, one, two, three, Four. How much money does Jason have left? Well, he has two tens left or two dimes, which is 20 
sense. Do you see how modeling can help us solve? There were lots of parts of this problem that could have been really tricky. But by breaking it down and modeling, I'm able to subtract with what works best for my brain. Make sure that when you're thinking about money, you are including strategies that we've learned in the past to help you add and subtract. All right, one more problem. Benny spent $3 on Monday and $6 on Tuesday. When the week started, he had $13. How much money does he have left after Tuesday? Again, second graders, we're going to start with what our whole was. Our whole is 13. Because if you spend money, you're taking it away. So if we have 13 and we're subtracting, do you see a friendly number we could subtract right away? $3 or $6? What do you think we should subtract first? I think we sub should subtract three first because that's really easy for us to do. 13 minus three is 10. Just taking those ones away. Now can we really quickly do 10 minus six? Yeah, that's easy. We know that from our 10 frames. 10 minus 6 is what? It's 4. So how much money does Benny have left? Benny has $4 left. Remember a dollar sign. Practice, practice, practice using your worksheets and your application problems for day nine, day seven, excuse me, day seven. <laughs> I am really excited to see the work that you do. Make sure that you send it to me because tomorrow progress reports are going home. So I want to see all of that awesome learning. I'm excited to see what is ahead. I wish you well.